Hey guys, welcome back. It is time for the Powder Project Pan 2024 introduction. I love this project. I have been doing this, I think this is my fourth year, where I pick all powder makeup products because those are the hardest to finish, hardest to pan, and try to finish as many as possible. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. I love project panning. It's a lot of fun. I love makeup in general. I'm filming in this corner again. I used to sometimes film in this corner and I haven't for a while. I feel like I can move my hands a lot more, which maybe some people don't like, but I tend to move my hands a lot when I talk, which is probably why I knock things over all the time. Oh well, what are you going to do? But I am very excited to introduce this. Let's get started. In the video I did talking about my project panning goals for the year, I talked about that I want to focus on less items in a project at one time. And that's what I'm going to be doing for this project this year. I have decided to change things up a little bit how I do it. So some items I will pick that I will try to finish completely, but then other items I'm going to just use them for either one month or two months or three months and then roll it out for something different. Not necessarily trying to hit pan, not necessarily counting usage, but maybe if I can kind of see difference, like a dip going, something like that, that would kind of be the goal. The reason I wanted to do this is that looking back on the powder project pan last year, I started with, I think, 10 or 11 items and I did finish, I think at least four, but there were certain things that I kind of got sick of using and I just didn't want to use it anymore, but then I felt like I had to keep it in the project. I don't know. It was a whole thing. So this year I'm starting with less. So let me show you those items. Um, I'm starting with how many items? I can't count. One, two, three, five. Okay, five items. And so this is one of the ones I do want to finish completely. It is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I love this. I've been setting my face and under eyes with this every single day ever since I finished my Wet n Wild Bare Focus Powder. So I don't know if you can see. There's not really, well, actually, there is a little bit of a dip happening there. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice that. So, all right, well, there's a bit of a dip. Woohoo, go me. Um, I really like this powder. It's amazing. It's like $3, $4, I don't know. Very, very awesome. Okay, and then the other item that I do want to finish. You may recognize this from last year's Powder Project Pan because it was there and I didn't finish it. This is the Ticket to Brazil bronzer from Wet n Wild. I use this as finishing powder and here it is. So obviously I have a pan on this and I used this almost every day in 2023 and I did not finish it. Can you believe that? I mean, I kind of can't believe that. I really thought that I was going to finish this, but I don't know, when you look at it, you're like, oh, you don't have that much left. However, it's a lot thicker here, here, and here, like in the corners, because this broke the day that I bought it, so I had to repress it, and I think it was thinner in the center. But anyway, repressing video in the description box if you want to see that, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping I could finish this. Okay, so for the categories of blush, bronzer, and highlighter, that's where I'm going to do the rotation method. Now, if at some point I decide to change my mind and say, hey, I want to just stick with this one highlighter and pan the whole thing. Awesome. Great. That would be fantastic. I don't know. I was just looking through my drawers and I wasn't like, yeah, I want to use this highlighter every day and try to finish it. I don't know. I just didn't get that vibe. So that's why I decided to do this. And so for the blush, I went with one of my favorite blushes of all time, Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. I love this blush and I've actually used this a lot. This was in my project 100 uses a couple of years ago when I bought it. I have used this well over 100 times. I really, really have, but you know, you can't really tell, but it's blush guys. Powder blush takes forever and then some to use up. So we shall see, but I'm hoping to make good progress on that. And then for bronzer, now last year I did pick one bronzer and I worked on it all year and I did hit pan, which was exciting. Um, but this year, again, I was looking through my bronzers and I was like, well, I don't know, I can't commit to one bronzer. So I decided to start off with this one from Morphe. This is the Glamma Bronze in Icon. I love this bronzer. I'm wearing it today and I've actually been wearing it the last couple of days. I pulled it out and I was like, 
oh, I forgot how much I love this bronzer. It's really, really pretty. So here it is. I've, I've used this a lot too. This was actually my project of 100 uses also. I totally forgot about that. Um, crazy. There's not a major dip happening, but I'm not super heavy handed with bronzer. But yeah, that's kind of interesting. I've had this for a while. I think I bought this bronzer like five years ago. Um, yeah. It's been a while, but it's still really good. It's smooth. It's beautiful. I like the undertone. I feel like it works well with my skin tone. So it's a great bronzer. I'm excited to use it more. Okay, I just realized my microphone was getting tangled in my hair. So if the sound was really awful, ah, I'm sorry. Oh gosh. Okay, I need to be more careful with that. I'd like put it here on the strings of my sweatshirt. And the last category that I'm going to do the whole rotation thing with is going to be highlighter. And I decided to pick this one because I haven't used it in so long. It is the Ofra and Samantha March highlighter. It's called March Beauty Word. I'm wearing this today. It's really pretty. I still like intense highlighter. Um, I mean, not super intense, not quite to the levels of 2015, but I still like a good highlighter. And this one is really pretty. I like it quite a bit. It's very, very pigmented. So, you know, got to be careful with that. I'm trying to show it to you without the glare, but it's a little bit hard to see. But yeah, I'm excited. I think that this will be kind of a fun way to do this without the pressure on myself and hopefully without me getting sick of the item, but feeling like I still need to work on it. So this way, if I get sick of the highlighter, the bronzer, the blush, or I mean, even the other items that I'm trying to finish, I will roll them out because that was one thing I said this year. Like, I don't want to force myself to use anything. And I want to try to use a wider amount of my makeup collection. I do think that I kind of put pressure on myself for no apparent reason to use up as much makeup as possible because it's fun. And if you didn't see my year long makeup empties video, you should watch that because I did finish a good amount of makeup. But I was like, oh, I wish I'd gotten to $1,000, which I didn't, but you know, that is okay. So, you know, I think this is going to be better for me. And if I decide like, hey, I want to pan this highlighter, fantastic, great, why not? But if I decide after a month or two months, mm, I'm sick of it, I want to use something else, or even if I'm not sick of it, but I just want to rotate through my collection more, then I will do that. So I'm excited about my new take on this project. Um, I do love project panning. It's so much fun. And I want to get good use out of my makeup. Makeup expires, even the powder product. Obviously, they don't expire as fast as cream products do. But, you know, is what it is. I just want to use the makeup I have. I think it's fun, but I'm still buying new makeup. I'm currently not doing any sort of no buy or low buy. I have not decided on that. But anyway, that is it. Let us know. Are you working on some powder products? Um, there will be other project paint introductions. I've already introduced partners in cream, by the way, that one already went up. So yes, if you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.